what is going on guys Moles here back again with another video as you can see here we got 51 liquid divinium so you can see in the bottom right uh, bottom left sorry but in this video we're going to be opening all 51 liquid diviniums and seeing if we can get any perkaholics that is the main goal I'm not too bothered about any of the other gobble gums uh but perkaholics will be very nice to collect and we're going to be doing the triple vat method uh we're not going to go single vat i have heard that single vat is actually more effective but it will take so much longer to open 50 diviniums using single vat so instead we're going to be doing uh triple vat which we'll be able to use 17 times before we run out. So moving on to the first one. I haven't actually opened Liquid Divinium in ages because I've been saving them up. We've got an Unquenchable, a Killjoy, and Pop Shock. So that's not too bad, I guess. I mean, Unquenchable's okay, but not ideal for sure. And hopefully in the other ones, we're going to get even better ones. But yeah, I got a ton of these. Oh, we got two Liquid Diviniums back and an Unquenchable. I mean, I'll take it. I'll take it. I don't. It's kind of pointless spending, like... I don't really see why they give you back diviniums honestly it just seems a bit of like a waste of time because you spend one divinium to get one back uh, but we did get a reward doubler and we got two immolation liquidations and uh well it's two killjoys so that's not too bad the double boost like will be insanely good to get of a perkaholic but that's quite hard to ask for honestly and we got pretty that was a pretty bad one actually head drama is all right but licensed contract is one of the worst and burned out isn't great uh, it's only really good if you're doing the challenges. But what do we get next? Wool power, that's quite a nice one actually. And we got double reward. Uh, so that's two wool powers. And I'm happy with that actually. That's a really good one. Four gobble gums. Uh, that's pretty sweet. And we got 36 left after this one. And we got one divinium back and two dead of nuclear winters. I'm not super happy about that honestly. That's kind of a bad one. Uh, I think you can spawn like two nukes of that gobble gum. So it's not like ideal. Uh, even on the higher rounds and the lower rounds. But we did get another wool power, which I'm happy with. Wool power is one of the best gobble gums in my opinion. I'd say Perkaholic and then wool power are the top two gobble gums. Just because they're just so useful. Like wool power on a low round is just ideal. But we keep getting liquid diviniums, uh, which is surprising actually. I didn't remember them being this common. Uh, getting back the liquid diviniums. And we're getting a lot of uh, nukes as well, which I'm not a fan of. So try out plus give us a perkaholic we got an on the house that's quite nice uh spawns in a free perk that's probably the third best uh gobble gum in my opinion but i have got a lot of them already because uh, i've been saving them up and we got reward doubler for pop shots pop shots is pretty good actually for uh, killing the panzer so i'm not upset about that uh but it wasn't obviously ideal come on we got 26 Unquenchable Reward Doubler and Undead Man Walking. I'm not even sure if I had one of those before. What does Undead Man Walking even do? I'm going to check quickly. One second. Goal Gun. Customize. Where is it? Oh, I did have them already. Uh, slows down all zombies to shambling speed for four minutes. That's decent, actually, I guess. If you're doing, like, the Easter egg and stuff, that's not too bad at all. Oh, we got a killing time. No, no. Why... Why do we get a killing time? No, that's annoying. Because killing time is really bad. It kills like one wave of zombies, as you can see here. And I think it's as rare as a perkaholic, as you can see. They're both ultra rare mega. So if they are the same uh, rarity, I'm going to be pretty mad, honestly. Oh, that one is as well. I think we got one of those as well. Is We got one of those as well earlier. So damn it, we're getting so unlucky. We've had two of the three rare ultra megas the only one we haven't had is perkaholic but we got 20 liquid divinions that's about 20 gobble gums and that is not uh perkaholic i mean the orange sort of colors uh sort of like hyped me up a bit and then i realized it was just pop shots which we've already had a ton of on the house and double unquenchable i'll take that actually that's quite a nice one that's not bad at all, actually. Two on the house, two unquenchables. Unquenchable, I'd say, is a top five gobble gum. On the house, like I said, is about third. And we keep getting unquenchable. And we got a cruel space, which is one of the DLC one gobble gums. But we got 11 left. And I'm kind of scared because I don't think we're going to get a liquid dominion. Hold on, hold on a minute. Is it it said we had 11 and I used it and then it went to 9 so you can sort of tell if you're going to get a liquid divinium early I think but that's weird I'll check that out in future 
Yeah, we're not going to get a Liquid Divinium this time because it went down to 6. Uh, but we did get an Undead Man walking. That's not too bad, I guess. Respin Cycle is terrible. Not a huge fan of that, honestly. And Ephemeral Enhancement, eh, just not very useful unless you're doing the challenges. But look, we're going to get a Liquid Divinium. Called it because it only went down by 2 on the side, so you can sort of cool that. Uh, which is a little weird. I'm not sure why they sort of implemented that feature. But I'm kind of. Uh, we've only got four left, so I'm going to do the single vat master race method. A lot of people get perkaholics using single vat because you can get the power boost, and so you'll get the other vats as well just by spending one liquid divinium. But our luck is terrible, man. Our luck is bad. It takes so long to get a perkaholic, though. As you saw in the main menu, I'm 8th prestige, level 1. And I've had two perkaholics uh, in my lifetime. And I've used one of them. So that's why I kind of want an, a couple more as reassurance. But, oh, we got head drama. That's not terrible. I think it does headshot damage for an entire round. And gives you the points for headshots. Which isn't, that's not too bad, I guess, on the high rounds. But last one, power boost. But no perkaholic. That is depressing, dude. 51 liquid diviniums, zero perkaholics. Just goes to show how like rare they are and they're very hard to get and you don't want to waste them honestly because I had, I've had two like I said and I'm 8th prestige in zombies. Look at all these new symbols though. Go away. Yeah I've had two Perkholics and 8th prestige. I've got about 5 days played so <laughs> they do take a while to get and we failed our mission of getting a Perkholic. But we did already have one from before the video, so that is 51 Liquid Divinium opening video. Let me know what you think of it down in the comments below. Let me know what level you are in Zombies as well. Be interested to see your guys' responses. But overall, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe for more Black Ops 3 videos, and I'll see you guys in my next video.